What is going on, everybody? It is Sunday. We're before the football game is about 30 minutes out. We already know the Steelers and Titans postponed for later on in the season. We see now the Patriots and Chiefs possibly go on Monday night. I don't know the whole deal with it all. But, you know, it's just one of those things. We'll see how everything plays out. But I just want to cover two things real quick today. And, uh, because everybody out there, first off, thank you for all the support of this channel. I appreciate it. We've qualified for a member something on YouTube, and I looked it over, put the stuff in. And um, I guess you can do memberships for your channel for, like, members exclusive only. So I think this is where I'm going to go with it all for the giveaways and stuff like that that I do uh, on a lot of the different side of the house is where we used to do them weekly and everything. And I have a drawn up plan onto it, but they made me pick three levels. So I picked the three cheapest dollar ninety nine, I think four ninety nine, nine ninety nine. Guys, don't go for the crazy levels onto it. I mean the biggest one was like the ten dollar one. You get a discount code for the store, which normally I give out anyhow when I do that stuff. So don't don't go with that there. But you can do members only videos and I think that's kind of cool and a different way to interact. To where, you know, you flush away a lot of um, the trolling and stuff that could go on. And especially people who don't pay for stuff and sales and options. So I think we're going to go that way to where I'll just be like, hey, members only, uh, Friday night, we're doing a sale. And I mean, for two bucks a month, it's really not bad. And I was, I don't want to do like some crazy outlandish freaking... Um, Patreon package, and I got to mail out all these packs and boxes and stuff a month. I would rather just use that, I mean, into giving stuff away and stuff like that there for the sales. And that way I know the people that are in the room are good to go type deal. If that makes any sense to y'all. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I mean, you had to pick, like, perks, like you get to use gifts and all that. I got one gift uploaded. But the aspect had to be like a 1.1 1 1 something. So I'm going to just go out to Fiverr this week or however you say it. I'll get a couple gifts made up and stuff so you guys, when we've been in regular chats, you guys can use them and stuff like that. Um, I think it has a benefit. And I'm not a person that likes to charge memberships and stuff like that. But, you know, because a lot of times people will go into giveaways and have like six accounts. And you guys know that it happens across the board. And I think this would alleviate part of the situation that we were going into before where I know uh, some people had a whole bunch of them and stuff like that, just trying to enter for giveaways. I mean, the channel itself will still do like a 2,500 milestone giveaway to the channel, stuff like that there. But I think we can start doing stuff as a members only. And I mean, at $1.99, I guess 2 bucks a month, it wouldn't be bad. It would just uh, weed out a lot of stuff and the headaches and stuff that goes through with, like, the regular YouTube channel. But i like to see what you guys think offhand. I have it under review right now. I'm thinking also with it, with the memberships across the board, um, what I'll do is I'll go live maybe once a month. A uh, minimum of once a month. Let me rephrase it. And with that... I'll get like a box of cards or something and I'll get everybody that's in the chat for the members only and we'll like do like random and off whether it's a clearly authentic box where one hit goes out or four boxes of clearly authentic stuff like that there. It's easy, easy to sort ship stuff like that there. So um, if you guys think that's something that would be good for the channel that let me know. Um, I kind of like the idea and I have some ideas to go with it. But I just don't know how many people would want to spend two bucks a month to be a member of the channel. I, I don't. It's one of those weird things. Like you, I, I've never liked going out and asking people, hey, can you support the channel by buying this, 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 this. Now it's memberships and everything. But I think it will might help out in the long run. We'll see how it goes and everything. But I'll give it a crack. We'll see what happens with it. Worst case scenario is we just uh, disbanded after the first couple months or something. But other than that, let's talk PSA. PSA, that's why we're really here, but I want to throw out the other information real quick. Let me, I didn't get the old uh, screen capture up here. So let's talk PSA here. So everybody pretty much knows that this 
email here came out to everybody that has a membership with PSA, all right? So well, let's just talk briefly about it so you guys understand what's going on. I do have a call with them uh, tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to see what I can do because I have distributor calls tomorrow that I have my weekly or Monday morning meetings and all that stuff. So hopefully it works out timeline with them and everything. If not, I'm going to send an email and I'll get scheduled for later in the week and I'll just take like an hour or two off from work because I, I want to make sure what with it and everything that a lot of people understand it because there's some real gray area into this. So let's start off. The vouchers sold out. Let me tell you what people were doing here. People were using everybody in their family to buy vouchers because if you bought the $240 package, you were getting $300 in vouchers, okay? So that's $60 free. They're saying, hey, for being part of our member, we'll give you a little bit of discount and get some extra, you know, uh, vouchers in there for grading. People are doing five and six of them, so yeah. And then also, you know, with the whole system of COVID, everybody rushing SGC, Beckett doing this and everything. Everybody started getting PSA membership. So a lot of it changed. It did. At no fault, you know, they I think PSA has really handled it really well so far. At no means am I like dogging them or nothing like that here. I, I actually applaud them because they've stuck to it. They've done well. They're expanding as they can. They have a new uh, service level for the value team so that all those quarterly specials are going there and stuff like that. It's all getting worked in. And I mean, they're working 24 7 down that place, uh, weekends to include. So I, I really applaud it. I really do. So we know the vouchers done. If you have them, you can still use them. But if you want to renew your membership, you ain't getting any. And from my understanding, if you did renew, they're still not going to give them to you later on if they release them back. I'll double tap that and find out about it. Don't know offhand. Let me scroll down here. All right, here. So next up, economy level service, which is basically the $20 per card, 30 day service, has to be valued under $4.99 after graded, has been suspended temporarily. Okay. I think everybody's been using this because when you look, and I brought this up before, if you look below the PSA value for the modern, it was $15 a card and that was taken a while. Okay. Everybody just said, hey, I'm just going to spend $5 more because that's what I did. I'm going to get it quicker. So Big push on their economy level. They got to catch up. I see them next month uh, make an announcement of when it's going to come back. Don't go getting, you know, all sad, mad, and all those different emotions out there to where you want to go and just yell and tweet out bad things. It's okay. I mean, look at everybody's handled it. SGC, we won't talk about the slow grading company. Beckett, their 30 days taking six months plus. So, let that, let's see what they do and how they come about this before we start, you know, I guess you say throwing fruits and vegetables at them out there. But it's suspended temporarily. I think we'll be back pretty soon. Now, when you look at the PSA value service, this is my question. It's going to go out to them. What am I looking at turnaround times for when it gets logged in six weeks to nine weeks down the road is what it's saying. Now, don't forget now, if you guys are starting to do your own orders, you got to put those barcodes on that box. I'm telling you, they scan them in. That way you know it's received. That's all you're going to know. It's received. You still got to wait like the six to ten weeks until they log it in the system. But I'm going to see because, you know, the uh, prices on the value when you read it and stuff, the modern can't go over $99 a card. So if it's held there for, say, four to six months, and that card goes from being like an $80 card to a $300 card, are we going to get hit? And my next question is, am I going to ha then have to pay the suspended economy service, you know, upgrade to 20 bucks, Or are they raise me straight to the, because that, that's been suspended to the next level up, which is $50. So I'll get those answers to those questions to you guys. Um, it's stuff that I've wrote down. I want to have an in-depth conversation with them, uh, at least to the, my rep, and just to make sure everything is good. Um across the board and even if she does not have the answer she will get them for me it might take her a couple days but she's always gotten back to me pretty reasonably i think the longest was like over a holiday weekend and stuff like that it took her like five days and that's five regular calendar days not business okay checks and money orders require additional steps and processing now so PSA is only accepted credit card payments. Make sure you guys are tracking that. I don't know how many people send money orders and checks. I've just 
do the credit card. I give him a, a bogus card at first, and I call him when he goes out. I'm just afraid to have my stuff on paperwork and stuff, I guess. I don't know. I'm old like that. All right, PSA dealer director. If you guys want to see who all the dealers are out there, it's a lot to do the uh, bulk group submission. Boom, there it is. I, I don't think it's updated completely because I know guys that are doing it and have it all every which way their names aren't on it. So I don't know. Maybe they didn't sign the new letters. No idea. I'll do it. Uh, all right. Later this quarter, PSA will begin to publish or uh, publicly uh, post complete through dates for every major level of service. Like it. I like it because I'm always guessing at stuff. Now, if they can pin that down to buy category in the quarterly special, that is awesome. Because the way they do the quarterly special is by demand. How well is it in demand out in the market? So, like, when I sent in my 80s stuff um, back for their promotion, I think it was back in the May or whatever it was. It's been logged in, but it's been sitting there for three months. I have no idea when I'm going to see it. I think that is a great idea. Expand it. Push it out there. If you guys notice, they've been retweaking their website and stuff. It looks good. I'm definitely, you guys know I'm pro PSA right now. I've been pro PSA since the dawn of grading with them. I like Beckett for what they are as well, too. And I still stand behind it that if my card is valued at super high price, I'm going straight Beckett with it over PSA just because of the price. Because I'm going to spend $175 to do a two-day there and back versus spending five hundred dollars on the other way of the company it's, i'm sorry but it's just the way i do my stuff um there's one more thing on here okay it says we will be phasing out any estimates of turnaround times for value orders instead later this quarter will begin to share complete through dates. And I think that's where they were talking about. I think it's where they're going to have buy each one down, which is good. I like that. Um, there was Okay, that was it. I must have been talking to somebody else and we were brainstorming. I thought there was a this. But overall, I mean, all that they raised was their value from 15 to, I think, a uh, bit updated now. $12 for modern, 10 for vintage. I mean, it's not bad. Yes, the market went up. Now it's settled. If you sold high, and some of us have done this, we sold real high, and we rebought those cards at like 70% of that value. So that was free money afterwards. So hopefully you guys got to do that as well, too, out there. Um, like I said, I've been pushing it for years to grade it all. Great them base rookies and all that stuff, and you've seen where that explosion went to. I preached optic uh, years ago in 1617. I thought those velocities were going to take off down the road sometime. You guys see now where Pokemon's gone. Just enormous, enormous out there. I'm going to tell you. I'll give you one little thing. That's the other thing I want to do with the members only. I want to talk about some of my strategies and be able to talk to you guys so we can, like, Huddle together and try to grasp some of the markets. That was another idea of that. So sorry for sidetracking on to that. But um, you guys know this year's the anniversary for uh, Garbage Pal Kids intent. I've already had my orders in. You had to pre-order a long time ago, and I could see somebody starting to do the Garbage Pal Kid thing next because that was huge as we were kids. Not as big as a mark as Pokemon because you got to think that movie there grossed out everything grossed out harry potter i mean that's a huge one star trek or not star trek star wars all that so huge huge thing there with that but uh i might need some help on some pokemon here i might come live in a couple weeks with it we'll see i'm no i'm not opening up my stuff in my closet i got some other stuff uh, i figured that out kind of what to get into and you know blisters boosters and ETPs or whatever the heck they're called. Uh, I forget. Some some other abbreviation. I just know when I read the box and it goes out to the initials. All right, everybody. Hopefully you guys have a great Sunday out there. Um, with the games going the way they are with COVID, I don't want to really start chancing uh, doing the giveaway like we did before with the football game because my luck it'll get postponed right before and I won't have time to react. But I'll figure something out. 
uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think of the new PSA thing. Let me know what you guys think about the members uh, club uh, for YouTube. Um, I think it might work pretty well, like I said. But like I said, let me know what you guys think. And we can do some huddles like once, maybe twice a month, some sales and stuff. Or free box break time. Random everybody in there. Just one person wins and we can do like conference or division or something like that. I just can't do it by team because then we're looking like uh, a lot to go into shipping and everything like that. Unless we had like a huge, huge, huge group. All right. Talk to y'all later. Have a good one.